Hey learner, this is Nilesh Borati. So in this video, we will discuss the another operator in a Python. Okay. So first we will see the in operator. Okay. So in. So see here one example. So x in one two three. Okay. So we have already seen the in keyword in for loop. but we can also use it to quickly check if an object is in a list or not okay if it is then return true if it is not then return false so see here in this example x is in this list 1 2 3 no means that the result is the false okay same here if 2 in 1 2 3 then my result is the true okay so in keyword also work on other iterable object types and the string as well okay see here a in here hello okay so false a is not available in hello same here l in hello yes true okay next this also work in dictionary okay see here one example so k1 in my dictionary is that the k1 is equal to 1 2 3 k2 is equal to 5 6 7 7 see here k1 is in dictionary so this item is only check by key not a value k1 means that is this available in a key in dictionary yes it is so my result is that true okay so here if 1 2 3 then see false okay next one is that we can assign this dictionary to one variable see here d is equal to this dictionary okay see here this is my dictionary then if you want to check the value is available in dictionary then see here that is the 1 2 3 in t dot okay here i will press the button tab so after pressing this there are the some built in functions so here select the values function so see 1 2 3 in d dot values okay so now 1 2 3 is check in dictionary by values so see here 1 2 3 is available in dictionary as a value okay values and keys function you can use keys k e y s okay so by using keys and values function okay so you have to check the key and value in the dictionary okay so this is the in operator so next one is that the min and max so this is the simple use it is quickly check the minimum and the maximum value in list okay see here this is my list okay so 10 2 7 8 22 9 9 okay then min of my list See here, two and max of my list. See here, twenty-two. Okay, so they return the minimum and the maximum value in that the list. So next one is that the random. So Python comes with a built-in random library. So there are a lot of a function included in this random library. So we will only show you some useful functions. Okay. so see here from random here import random import then hit the tab button okay see you should be able to see a big drop down list of options okay and a lot of these are the functions that are available to you inside this particular built in library okay so from the random import shuffle so here we will use the shuffle okay so it is used to randomly shuffle around any sort of a list okay see here 
my list is equal to then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay see here this is my list okay then shuffle my list see here my output is that okay, this is typing mistake so list my list l i s t okay so this function is cannot return anything so after that test the my list list see here 9 2 10 5 7 8 3 4 6 1 okay so it is shuffle or the scramble okay so if you run the shuffle again see here shuffle my list then your my list is that sorry my list okay see here both the output is different so if you run the shuffle again and notice here i am going to run that one more time so it's going to reshuffle the list so this function not return the anything okay so by using my list variable you will check the output okay so next uh, next use is that from random import the ne next function is that the r a n d i n t okay so see here by using this function so from 0 to 100 any one random number is printed so see here 80 it returns the sum random integer in between 0 to 100 see here again 0 to 100 so next one is that the 56 okay you can also assign this function to one variable okay then you can use this variable so number uh, number equal to r and int rand int 0 to 100 okay this variable you can use in program on later see here my number is that the 91 okay so next and the last function is that the input function by using the input function accept the user input from the keyboard so this is the very special function and we have the text that want to show up when we actually ask the user for the input see here input and pass here one message enter any input okay see here when we have to run this see here one input box is shown here and pass here the one input so my input is that the one two three see here one two three is in the single quote means that input is accepted in a string type okay see here again we have to run so my input is that the hello see here hello is in single quote means that the input is in string again 23.33 my input is in the string so like java and dot net programming language so python input accepted in a string type okay so if you want to integer floating and other type then you need to cast this variable type cast the input to other variable okay so now we will accept the two numbers from keyboard and make the addition see here number one equal to input enter first number then number two equal to input enter second number okay then number three equal to number one plus number two then print addition is here plus number three i have to use the input function okay so by using input function we can accept the number from the keyboard here input function can be used in two times so in this program we cannot cast this input to other type means that input is accepted in a string so if my number one is that the five and number two is that the six so five and six is in the string and by using the plus operator so if plus operator is used in between the two string means that they concatenate the two strings means the output is that the 56 
see here my first input is that the 5 then 6 and my output is that the 56 because 5 and 6 are in string type and plus is used to concatenate the two string okay so if you want to accept input in a integer then cast here by using the int function okay same here int okay again run this code 5 6 can only concatenate the string not int to str okay see here my addition is also in a string okay okay here in print statement addition is okay then format number three okay dot five six addition is eleven okay so there is not necessary see here five six addition is eleven okay so this is the program to accept the two numbers from keyboard and perform the addition operation okay so students test this code on your machine so if you have any queries then comment on your query in comment box like and subscribe this channel see you on next video thank you